questions that believers in UFOs and extraterrestrial visitations have to answer is why. Why would aliens go to so much trouble to travel so far across the universe to come and abduct just a handful of random Earthlings? Is Earth special to them? Have we been targeted? Or is every alleged alien encounter in history simply the result of random chance? These problems, though, are eliminated if we consider for a second that flying saucers aren't far-off spacecraft, but that they're time machines instead. Filled not with otherworldly creatures, but with humans from the future who we might reasonably assume would know that the Earth is here. This isn't yet a widely accepted theory, and there are many other, far more mainstream predictions on what alien life will or could look like. But there are growing numbers of scientists and professors lending their thoughts to it, too. Most notably one Michael Masters, a professor who published a book in 2020 on what he calls a multidisciplinary scientific approach to UFOs. In it, he discusses the possibility of future humans returning to the here and now, and being mistaken for aliens. And regardless of where you stand, it does make for an interesting thought experiment. Because if you were given a working time machine, wouldn't you want to go, yes, to the future to see what becomes of humanity, but also to the ancient past, to see some of your favorite historical periods up close? And when you arrived in the ancient past, wouldn't you imagine that you might be greeted with wonder, suspicion, or fear? All of the same emotions you might expect to exhibit upon meeting an alien. If we in the present, then, would love a time machine to visit the past, the same would probably be true of humans in the future. Only for them, our present is their past. Time travel is arguably the most talked about sci-fi concept of all, with all manner of high-profile figures making predictions about whether it will or will never exist. But if backwards time travel specifically is to exist at any time in the future, then we're just as likely to encounter it now as at any other time in history. All it would take would be a future time traveler keying in today's specific date, and there you go. If they were spotted, some would call UFO, and if they were spoken to, some would call alien. From the time traveler's point of view, going to the ancient world would be in some ways just as foreign or alien as going to a different planet. They'd be faced with a completely different society and way of life, long forgotten customs, languages, foods, and technologies, but the basics, the building blocks of life and survival, would be pretty much the same. If you were traveling backwards from the present day, for example, you wouldn't need to undertake rigorous studies just to test whether the air in ancient Egypt is safe to breathe. You just need to remember to pack enough water and maybe some sunscreen. In this way, in the hypothetical future when both exist, time travel technology could actually be the safer option compared to interstellar space travel. But why would these travelers want to visit the 21st century specifically? In recent years, we have seen a general increase in the number of UFO sightings reported. And there are a number of explanations for this, but in the context of today's question, would there be anything in particular pulling time travelers to this specific time period? Considering that future humans, from a time where backwards time travel exists, will also most likely have moved away from Earth, across the solar system and perhaps further, it could still be as simple to them as just wanting to know where they came from. This interstellar immigration could be a search for cosmological roots that leads them all the way back to present-day Earth. These humans could have been raised on a newly terraformed Mars, or in the clouds of Venus above the oceans of Europa and Titan, or on centuries-old generation ships just drifting through the void. If you were them, wouldn't you want to see the planet where humans originally lived? This effectively means that all those UFO sightings we so often hear about on the news or on the internet would actually now be tourists. Time tourists. It's still not likely we'd take them at their word, though. Until we actually develop time travel technology for ourselves, if that's even possible, then the majority of people would be at least hesitant to believe anyone claiming to have genuinely come from the future. But it's also true that often the aliens that people allege they've seen aren't actually that alien in description. The stereotypical extraterrestrial in sci-fi and most abduction claims is really quite humanoid. They may have gray or green skin, they might be a little shorter, and they often have larger heads and eyes, but they're still fairly close to us with four limbs and recognizable features. And this human-like appearance ties into today's question, with the suggestion being that if these strange creatures are actually just highly evolved humans from the future, that's why they look a bit like us. If we assume that future humans will have gone to live on different planets, they could have also begun to evolve at unprecedented speeds and in unprecedented ways, simply to adapt to and survive wherever their new home was, meaning larger eyes, bigger heads, and longer fingers for any number of reasons. 
Of course, what's more generally accepted as the likeliest explanation is that alien abduction claims feature these physical tropes because science fiction has steadily perpetuated this particular aesthetic. Still, for as long as we don't have any concrete proof that life exists on other planets, which we still don't, and for as long as we know that humans on Earth are interested in developing working time travel, which we still are, the idea that the two could marry up can't quite be totally dismissed. So let's imagine for a moment that we live in a future time when this far-fetched theory is a real-world reality, and it's been uncovered that UFOs really are time machines. Should we be worried? Well, countless studies and thought experiments have shown that traveling back in time could have terrible consequences. Anyone doing it could breach a variety of paradoxes and prevent important events from happening, accidentally cause horrible things to happen, or even stop themselves from being born. But perhaps herein lies another reason to believe that UFOs are time travelers? If the dicey history of UFO reports proves one thing, it's that these vehicles rarely hang around for long enough to be proved or disproved themselves. But in a world where they're actually piloted by time travelers, maybe this is just an exercise in damage limitation? The high risk involved with time travel could mean that, if we ever did invent it, it would probably be strictly regulated. Anyone traveling back in time would be under strict command not to alter anything about the past and not to be seen. For the most part then, it works fine. But every so often, a present day human encounters flashing lights or stumbles across a levitating disc and the cover is blown. That is, unless the travelers can disappear quickly enough or make their appearance incredible enough so that it'll never be believed. It offers one explanation as to why so many alien abduction claims include instances of missing time or memory problems. That part is a traveler's last ditch attempt to fix their mistake. If you accept a deterministic model of the universe, one in which everything will always inevitably happen however it's supposed to, then really none of this should be of any concern to you. If UFOs are piloted by extraterrestrials or time travelers, or if they're a total myth, it makes no difference. And as for all of the dangers that time traveling UFO pilots could bring with them, well, they're not dangerous at all. Because whatever changes they do or don't make, always were or weren't meant to be made. However, if you're more inclined to free will, you don't not believe in UFOs, and you have even a sneaking suspicion that one day time travel might be possible, then today's question is one meeting place for all of those things. We repeat, it's not yet a widely accepted theory, but it is an eye-catching thought experiment. And that's what would happen if aliens were time traveling.